Plastic surgeons are beginning to explore if there is indeed a connection between different types of commonly used implants and this rare disease called anaplastic large cell lymphoma, which is a treatable and highly rare non-Hodgkin's type of cancer. The incidence of this disease is extremely low. It accounts for only about 1% of non-Hodgkin's induced lymphomas. The actual association between this disease and, and breast implants is still quite unclear. Reported numbers for breast implant associated ALCL are limited due to the lack of history, treatment, and oncologic follow-up. However, even in this limited data, one new study in PRS suggests that the number of reported global cases could be considered somewhat higher than previously reported. And in another new evidence-based study that's published in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery shows that there is a statistically significant correlation between textured implants and breast implant associated cases with this problem. So with its profile registry, a partnership between the FDA to study ALCL, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, continues to be the leader in compiling information about this problem in breast implants. It's going to be a long time before there are this is a significant number of data and prevalence that can be conclusive beyond a shadow of a doubt. So if you're considering a breast augmentation, please visit a board-certified plastic surgeon who specializes in this. And for more information about ALCL, visit plasticsurgery.org slash ALCL. And for the latest scientific discoveries on anaplastic large cell lymphoma, please visit your trusted source for best evidence-based research in all of plastic surgery. Of course, it's Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery at prsjournal.com.